Hello and welcome to a free files video. Today we are going to take plywood and acrylic and make two bookmarks. You saw them in the thumbnail and by the end of this video you should be able to make these on your own with your fiber laser, CO2 laser, or any other laser that you have. Um, I recorded this video yesterday and I'd had an allergic reaction to something so my lip was swollen, my uh, chin was swollen. I had some swelling back here in my cheeks, so my voice was a little off and I was a little hoarse and it was just an odd day, but I had to get it done. So anyway, you'll have these two files available with this video. There's also a file for a pendant, which is a cross with nails, made out of nails, um, that's available on the Laser Makers Realm. I'll link that video in the description, and then Patreons will have access to the third file, the third project, which is the phone stand. And you'll see pictures of the phone stand in the thumbnail, of course, and at the end of the video. So, thank you for watching, and enough of this. Let's just get into it, and we'll jump right into Lightburn. Okay, we've opened up our bookmark mark file in Lightburn, and I've included two versions of this file for you. One has the text in a different layer, in case you want to treat that text with a different engraving, setting, speed, etc., you can do that. The other has the text in a black layer, but then it is also duplicated and pasted right on top of the black layer. And it is set to just run a line. And here's why I did that. If we run these layers as they are, White burn will do the black layer first and it's gonna go back and forth across all this white space and waste a lot of time. Unless we would set that to a flood fill and then it would go up the lines and back down, but that can result in inconsistent engravings. So what I did was let it go ahead and run all this black layer at once and then go back and do an outline separate and it will shave a few minutes off. And we can double check that by looking at the preview. 15 minutes, 38 seconds versus, if we were to run this one, about 20, yeah, 20 minutes, 21 seconds. So doing it this way, we'll shave five minutes off our engraved time. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is engraving on this uh, plywood. Then I'm gonna cut acrylic, just the outline of the bookmark, and then bring it over to the fiber laser and show you how you can do black acrylic on a fiber laser and make it look really nice. So if you have any questions about light burn, just leave me a comment and I'll answer that in the comments for you. And who knows, there's such good questions in the comments that it might spur a video or a quick tutorial or something that can help everybody. So I think that's it, we should be framed, I am using the light burn camera on this 1000 by 600 honeycomb bed. You can see there's where I did a test burn earlier. And I think our camera's pretty well lined up. If I change that to our yellow line, I can actually just run that real quick. That's done. We'll update the overlay. If we can see we're a little off, so we can adjust that. Ah, my shift is there for some reason. I forgot. I just realigned this camera and didn't adjust these settings. So I'm going to save that. I know that we're pretty much right on where we should be. So these engravings will show up exactly where I want them to on this wood. All right, back to arrow. We'll select the graphic and then we will run it. I am using the CloudRay Ultimate Air Assist Kit so it turns on and off when the laser is pulsing. That's why you hear the uh, solenoid turning on and off. Oh, 
I have one Cloud Ray Infinity six inch inline fan at the end of the ductwork run, providing the fume extraction, and it's doing well enough that it's still pulling all the smoke in, even with the lid open. And from here on out, I'm going to speed this up so the video doesn't take a lifetime. As it's running the cut, I'm going to tell you that I like to run a line around handwriting cursive letters because when they get those strokes get skinny, sometimes running fast engraved speeds will allow the letters to look kind of washed out. So this darkens it up, and then once you clean it up with a little water or whatever your preferred method is, it'll look nice. And I know that having the air assist on while it's doing the engrave will spray all that dust everywhere, but that's fine. I wanted it that way. It adds some character. So let me pull this off the laser and we'll get it on camera. Okay, for this one, I'm not even gonna use water just so we can get this done really quick. But just uh, brush off all the dust. And there's what we got. Not too bad. This is an older plywood and the back's already kind of peeling off. This is just like some not so good test wood, but it's good enough to show you this. That's not too bad. Now let's cut out acrylic and engrave this on the acrylic bookmark with a fiber laser. is turn output off for all of the fill and line layers that we do not want output at this time, which is all of them except the red cut layer. And actually, let me update the overlay first. There, and you can see our camera was pretty much dead on for all the cut lines. All right, so you can see the acrylic on the bed in the light burn camera preview. So for actor accurate placement, you need to be focused. I'm not talking about the camera, I'm talking about the laser. All right, we are in right there in focus. If you're not in focus, then your camera alignment will be off and it will not burn where you want it to. I'm going to update the overlay. All right, our overlay is updated. All I have to do is just drag this onto the acrylic. We can zoom in and place it right at the edge. And we can double check it just by framing that it's going to stay on the acrylic. And then my red pointer was on the acrylic the whole time, so we can use up as much material as possible. I hate the smell of acrylic, and there's no way I'm leaving that lid open. Okay, we're back in light burn again with file number two. This is the Christian Bookmark Fiber Laser light source engraving titled file. When you import this into Lightburn, you're gonna see 
red outlines and these left over from the CO2 file. But then the part that we want to focus on will be centered up in your, in your workspace for you. And we have our bookmark with our cut line from the CO2 converted to a toolpath for the fiber so that we can use it to frame the bookmark and get it lined up properly. The yellow layer is still there, which is the line that we ran. So we're going to turn that off. Let's see. That, turn that line off. Okay, we'll turn that off. I won't even show it. 27, that's in the other file, so we don't even need to show that. Let's see, red, we are not going to be using the line, so let's just turn those off. The only thing we need to see is our fill and our frame. And I've got the light burn camera up here, and it looks like we are pretty well framed. It's not going to be exact because I haven't focused yet, so I need to focus first. good these are my 3d printed adjustable focal sticks I normally just lock them in place super glue them and then I don't have to worry about them and that looks about where we need it to be you just have to know your laser whether your red dot is following the outside of your framing line or the inside or where exactly it's going to end up and we're using just some regular cast black acrylic nothing special so under my acrylic cast we'll assign for a layer and it is a speed of 500 power of 30 frequency of 50 interval 0 0.085 and it turns out looking pretty good so let's just run this and see how it goes and that is a bi-directional fill no flood fill Fiber laser on black acrylic is absolutely amazing. I love how it turns out. Go to the Lightburn Galvo Facebook support group and search black acrylic. There are two photos that come to mind. Uh, Jason Dory did uh, a Ben Stiller. He might have did a Robin Williams too, but a Ben Stiller that was outstanding. And Jason Montello did a Bob Ross. And the Bob Ross jumps out in my mind as being one of the most awesome photos I've saw done with the fiber laser. So check that out. If I can find the link to that post, I'll put it in the description. I hope it's looking as good on camera as it does in person. So this was real time, I didn't speed this up. Okay, here's our piece of acrylic hot off the laser bed. Actually, it's not really hot, but it looks really good. A nice acrylic bookmark. That looks pretty classy. Classy enough for San Diego. I think Ron Burgundy would agree. Anyway. That's it. So you have wood file, you have an acrylic file, and you can modify these to run on any laser you want to. So diode, fiber, CO2, galvos or gantries. Don't limit yourself to just what I have. Uh, modify the artwork and use it on whatever you want. Um, so that concludes this video and these uh, awesome files that I've put together. I hope you think so. 
Uh, I do appreciate you watching and tuning in. So please subscribe. Please hit the like button so that this video will get shared to more like-minded folks that love lasering. Um, I would appreciate it. So I hope all of you awesome folks that took the time to watch this video to the end have a wonderful day. Like and subscribe. Find me on Facebook. Check the links in the description. I'll put up some links to this black acrylic that I have here. I got it from Amazon from a good seller that I bought acrylic from many, many times. Um, and anything else I used in the video, I'll put some link, throw some links in there too, in case uh, you're looking for something in particular. And each purchase does help me out because they are affiliate links. So I do appreciate that as well. Also, look for the Laser Makers Realm for part one of this two-part video series, which has the file for and settings for the fiber laser, laser and this version of the cross pendant. So check that out on Laser Makers Round. Link will be in the description. And the link for the downloads for the files is also in the description. And I wanted to tell you about Walrus Oil. If you haven't heard of it, it's a cutting board oil. It is great for finishing anything that is going to come in contact with food or anything that you don't want to have, you know, any of the more toxic stains and that kind of thing. I'll even use it on bigger wood projects that are not going to be outside. Put one coat on, let it soak in 24 hours, add another coat, let it soak in, and you end up with a nice, deeper, natural looking collar. And as you can see, these were finished with it and it looks great. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great day.